A lot easier than that first boss. I don't know why I had so much trouble with that first boss. Hello! Hello, everyone! Welcome to the stream tonight. We are playing the most exciting of games. <laughs> this could possibly... I don't know for sure, but this could possibly be a night where we play three games. We'll see how it goes. Uh, first off, though, we're going to be playing some Pinball Hall of Fame The Gottlieb Collection. I'm assuming that was some big name in the pinball scene i don't know man i mean i like pinball but i never got like that into video pinball or anything though so like i don't know we'll see central park central park teed off <laughs> okay and then big shot wait is that it do we only have those like what was that six or seven or something like that Seven classic tables, yeah. Ace High, Central Park, Big Shot, Genie, Black Hole, Victory, and Teed Off. Those are the ones we get to play. See, the problem with this, I think, this game is going to be the fact that it's, you know, it's a video game, but it's not, it seems to be based off of real life tables, though, right? So, like, with video game tables, you can do some fun and interesting things, but with real life tables, you're, you're kind of limited on what you can do. And since they're basing it off of that, I don't think they can really, really do that much. Oh, we have goals for the table. Clear all drop targets and the eight ball with one ball. Yeah, okay, we'll see about that. How do we play? Okay. Oh, God, it's got, like, detailed instructions for each table? <laughs> okay, I thought it was just going to tell me, like, how to play, you know? Oh, yeah, it does support up to four players, too. I don't know exactly how that works, but uh, I did see that was a thing. I have no idea what the buttons are, by the way, for this. So do we just press X? No. Oh, pull back the stick and let it go. Okay. I'm assuming L1 and R1 are the flip. The the flippers. Uh, Yep. Okay. <laughs> this is going well so far. So yeah, I mean, this is this is pinball, you know. It's uh, about what I would expect. This is this is going really well. Uh, already lost two balls. <laughs> we haven't hit it a single time yet. That's great. There we go, man. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh god, I thought we were gonna die already. The only pinball game I think I ever really got into was uh, what was it? I forget the name of it. It was it was Pokemon though. I remember that much. Oh my. Fuck! <laughs> it's fine. We're just warming up right now, man. Just gotta warm up. Get into it, you know? You grew up with Pinball Room? Yeah, I mean, I played a little bit of Pinball IRL, but but for the most part, like I said, I only ever really played that Pokemon Pinball game. I think it was like the a Ruby and Sapphire based one. Um... Bro! <laughs> well, oh no, we got another ball. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Can we, like, tilt the table or anything? Oh, the game, Pinball 2001. That went right through the center! How am I supposed to hit that? Trash. Oh, the one that was space-themed on the desktop. Yeah! I remember that one. That was fun. That was a fun time. That was one of the, the best ways to pass time on, like, early computers, man. <laughs> I mean, I don't, we only ever had, like, the demo version. Because that was actually based off of a full game. Um, but, like, Windows PCs just came with the, you know, the demo version. Oh, my God. This is actually kind of kind of hard. Right? So, it better be good. I mean, so far, it's pinball. It's just, you know, classic pinball. I don't know. Don't really have <laughs> don't really have much to say about it. I mean, we're, we're, there's there's balls, and we can hit them. So, yep. Okay, so so our goal right now is to hit all of those white things on the side. Oh, my lord. Could I even hit that? I feel like the, the pinball games I grew up with had a little bit longer flippers. So that, you know, it'd be a little bit easier to, uh... 
to not die. <laughs> uh, I just sent that ball backwards through that thing. Oh my god. I'm terrible at pinball. Thank you for saving the garlic butter. You're welcome, love. I'm not a huge garlic butter fan, um, like from pizza places, but it is actually good for cooking. I don't know if anyone's tried that before, but a noodle and I have done that a couple times when cooking things. You just replace, you know, the butter and whatever you're frying or whatever with that garlic butter that you get from pizza places, and it's actually really good. Oh, no! <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could have gotten that one. That one was on me. It's really good in garlic butter noodles. Yeah, that makes sense. Instant Pot finally arrived. They sent, they had to send a damn replacement. Really? Holy hell, dude. They lost it that bad that they just had to send you a whole new one. That's terrible. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad I'm glad that it showed up finally, though. Have you had a chance to try and cook anything with it yet? Game over again? Well, I mean, I think we did a little bit better the second time, but still not <laughs> great. 30-some thousand points. The goal was, what, 64,000 or something like that? It's huge. Really? That big? Yes. Select a different table. We're going to play at least each table one time, but... I know there's, like, a couple different insupports. You must have gotten the really big one then. Big shot. You have to keep the box because you don't have space for it on the counter. Yeah, Noodle and I have uh, done the same thing in the past. These days, I think we still might have one or two appliance boxes, but we bought, like, a whole shelf just for appliances like those those big metal shelves you'll send a link do it we have like no yeah i mean our entire kitchen only has like i don't know six foot of counter space in total or something like that for the entire kitchen it's terrible oh we got a sub flipper we got two sub flippers in this one okay i mean i was hardly able to manage one i don't know how i'm gonna manage four or two i mean <laughs> God damn it, dude. <laughs> oh, this is going well. Oh, wait. Is there a lower section that we can get into? It looked like there was... Yeah, there's glass down there, dude. How do we get down there? Or is that just like a weird reflection thing? No, it's the lower level bonus. It says right there. I want to go to the lower level. That's actually... That sounds pretty cool. But yeah, Pokemon Pinball, dude. That's where it's at, honestly. Like, <laughs> now I'm sure, I'm sure there's like some really hardcore pinball people that uh could tell you some awesome pinball games, but I, I, I know nothing about pinball, dude. So other than, other than there was a Pokemon one that I like to play, and you know whatever, whatever was at the local bar, basically, <laughs> like, or one of the local bars, because holy hell, dude. I don't know about where y'all live, but we have like 6,000 bars in the area. It is ridiculous. Silence! Thank you so much for the resub, dude. Appreciate you. Also, thank you for being here, man. I hope you're excited for some some exciting pinball action. Or uh, whatever it is. <laughs> exciting might be, uh, might be overselling it a bit. Oh my god, the ball was moving so fast. Oh my god, dude, I cannot keep up with it. Oh, no. Sorry. We still have, what, two balls left? One ball One ball left? I think one ball after this one. So, technically two. Oh. Oh, God. Thank God it was going at, like, warp drive speed right there. Because otherwise, we would have lost that. You fucking love pinball? I like playing it in real life. And then I like, like I've said a couple times now, the uh, the Pokemon one. But that's, that's about it, man. It's not that... Fuck, I suck. <laughs> it's not It's not that other pinballs are bad. It's just that and I've never really played them. And I'm not sure if it's going to be a great streaming experience either, to be honest. Because, like, dude, it's pinball. What am I... <laughs> what am I supposed to say, you know? But, uh, yeah, whatever. It's a game on the PS2. We're going to work our way through it one way or another. Do I want to get all of those lit or unlit? Oh, no, don't go in the back. Thank you. Yes, hit them, hit them all, all of them. Open that black hole. I want to get, I want to get in the, uh, the, the lower level. I'm assuming we gotta light all those things up to get into the lower level, or, or not light them all up. Uh, knock down all the, the black hole flags. Pinball IRL is where it's at. Yes, see that I can agree with, dude. Pinball IRL is a ton of fun. Oh, we're in the lower level. Let's go. Oh my God, it's upside down. 
Well. <laughs> oh, and that's an automatic loss, too. That's lame. I'm still really excited that we got into the lower level, though. That was pretty cool. I had no I I, <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be upside down though like the the ball goes up instead of instead of down that that threw me for a loop. Uh what time? How long have we been playing? We haven't been playing that long. 10 minutes. Yeah, okay. We'll play we'll play each table twice maybe. Will be the will be the goal for the night with this one. Who knows, man? Maybe this will be our new niche. We just play we just play pinball. We're pinball streamers now. Oh my god. Gonna have to get a lot better though to uh <laughs> It's gonna have to get a lot better to make that interesting at all. A lot better, obviously. I see we got some votes in for what people think we're gonna rate the game. I'm not sure so far. It could be meh. It could be fucking trash. <laughs> Backlog. Either way, I mean, let's be honest. I don't see myself really completing this game at any point just because time is an issue. But it could be enjoyable so far. It seems seems decent enough. The ball moves way faster than I know what to do with, though. No, we were so close. Okay. Oh, I hit it with a backswing. Did not mean to do that. Shit. I need to get, like, some pinball attachments, man, to, to my desk. That's actually the uh, arcade machine that I want to get eventually. Actually does have pinball uh, attachments that you can get and add on to the side. Bruh. Was that the last ball? That was the last ball. Holy hell, we did terrible. Anyways, because uh, it's like an arcade machine. It has, you know, a bunch of different games that you can play on it and whatnot. But you can also load pinball, video pinball games into it. And uh, so you can get attachments for the side for the little flippers, which are I think is really cool. One of these days. if I, Whenever I do eventually get it. Because I do plan on getting it someday. I'll uh, make sure to show it off on Discord, dude. Because I actually think it's really cool. I like old arcade games. They're fun to just fuck around with, you know. Every once in a while. Especially Galaga. Because Galaga's where it's at. High score is 5,730,000 by Tim. Hmm. I feel as though you missed my message. Maybe? My sins are high because of Pinball 2001. Myself silenced, so we'll see. I see that one. Jesus, fuck Tim. Yeah, Tim obviously plays way too much of this. Sent in Discord also when my grandmother le learned it also act as a pressure cooker. She got scared. <laughs> she wouldn't let you order it, <laughs> had she known. I mean, pressure cookers are actually really safe, man. Modern pressure cookers. The problem with, like, the old pressure cookers is you basically just sat them on your stove and then let them rip. So, like, if the pressure valve got a little little dirty or stuck or anything like that they could you know blow the hell up essentially and like it's technically possible for any pressure cooker to blow up obviously but it's really unlikely to happen with with modern day machines especially like the new electric ones because they're temperature controlled and, and pressure controlled and all that like like the the instant pot and the ninja that noodle and i have um they have so many sensors in them to to make sure that doesn't happen that, yeah, I, I don't know how you could possibly get it to blow up. I see how Tim got so many points all of a sudden, though. Because we already have 370,000 and we've hardly done anything. You just you just get three zeros automatically. <laughs> you let her know that? Good. Oh, dude, why? Uh, I hate the little areas in pinball machines where you just automatically die. You let her know that? Yeah, I mean, if it, I, I, Noodle and I have used our pressure cooker. It's a, it's a ninja one, not a, uh, not a, uh, oh, there is a tilt. Not a, shit, dude, I can't. Why, why does tilt keep popping up? Oh, I can't flip. Go, go back flat. Stop, stop the tilt. <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore. Anyways, ours is a ninja one, but uh, we've used it a handful of times and never had any any problems with it. Like, if you cook with it in the stove, make sure the burners are up on the stove, not in the stove. Instant pot, like literally, that's the brand. Yeah, no, I know. We have a ninja foodie. It's also a a instant pot. I I know instant pot is a brand, but like, 
I feel like these days instant pot is is big enough that somebody says that they just mean you know pressure cooker like <laughs> but anyways uh, in case anybody wasn't here for that story time noodle and i were using the ninja foodie that we have one night and we uh had left it on the stove after we were done using it while we were washing the you know the parts for it and whatnot and uh we we come home the next day with some groceries and we put them on the stove to be put away so we push back the ninja foodie and uh the ninja foodie hit the knob for the stove turned it on and i start smelling something i'm like what the hell is that and then i turn and look and right next to noodle there's just smoke billowing up from our stove of course noodle had no idea they didn't notice it at all but uh <laughs> i saw it so i hurry up and grabbed it and, and turned off the the stove and uh you know it ended up being fine we had to melt the 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 bottom of it thankfully the bottom like comes off so we were able to to take it off the part that was melted and warped real bad and uh got it back into to a shape to where it's usable and all the internal comp components are still fine um so like it still works but it was a bit of a, a scary situation to say the least uh okay well we got into the millions at least surprisingly but we <laughs> i feel like we were sucking this is our last ball too i don't know how many points we have to get to get another another ball what 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 did tim have how many points i don't i don't see the high score listed here anywhere it would be awesome if we could if we could just beat tim oh dude well that's it that's gg for that almost six million well fuck me that's not happening uh, <laughs> noodle was blind sorry well, noodle has a condition so noodle can't be bl uh, blamed yeah, I mean, I'm not blaming Noodle. I'm just saying it was right next to her. Food, where did I go? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh. We're, uh, we like ninja Thanks, stuff, huh? in case that wasn't clear Gee. to everyone. The Ninja Creamy, the Ninja Foodie, the Ninja Blender. I saw there's there's something called, like, the Ninja Speedy, I think is the name of it. <laughs> it's a, a, a fast cooker. I don't know... I can't remember exactly what they described it as. It, it has a couple different functions, but its main one were uh, air frying and, and speed cooking. I, I don't know how it accomplishes that exactly, but... Okay, so we got... This is a big table, dude. Oh, God. We got, we got more flippers again. I like the sound effects on this one, at least. Just screw those stupid spaces, man. I hate I hate the little areas next to the the flippers where you can just die if you touch them. Irritates the hell out of me. Cuz like they go in there and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm sure a good pinball player has some way of of avoiding it, but I'm again, I'm not. So That was a delayed reaction there. Ninja also has a knife set. We'll have to get that too eventually. God damn it. <laughs> Bro, I feel like the more pinball we play, the worse we get. This is not going well for us. Oh, that's like a mini play area. We could have done stuff there. That's cool. I like the I like I like these ones with all the the little extras in it and whatnot. That's that's fun, dude. Has many a wizard that casts a special version of gray food and fire but oh, wait what <laughs> mini as a mini wizard okay <laughs> uh, i mean that's pretty dope dude if it can just spawn food for me out of nothing i'm okay with that oh damn it i wonder if it has pressure sensitivity I don't it doesn't look like it's it's like you can you can hit it hard or soft is what I was wondering but no it looks like it just has the 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 one strength which I mean is fine I feel like that's pretty pretty expected of pinball games you know
Did we did we do something good? I think we lit up all the things. I had bonus or advanced multiplier. Okay. Ooh, it has a fancy knife sharpener on the side. I mean, we have a knife sharpener already, but I'll I'll take another one, especially if it's a fancy one. Ah, god damn it. That's how Speedy cooks. It's a ninja wizard. <laughs> uh. Oh, bro, keep keep it going. Points for days, man. That was a pretty decent run, I feel like. Now, if only the rest of our runs could be anything like that, we, we would be going somewhere. We're never going to buy this knife set, though? Why? Is it, like, super expensive or something like that? Why would we never buy it? Oh, oh, thank God. I thought we were fucked there for a second. No, yes. I want to get up in that little mini area again. I like the mini area. It would be fun to build paint, paint, paintball? Pinball machines, dude. Oh, they're not all one piece. Okay. Yeah, Noodle and I don't like the, the knives and, and utensils and things that come in two pieces where it's not like a unibody. Um... Because I just I feel like grime gets in all the little cracks and things and gets really hard to get out of knives and things like that. Where like the set we have now, it's just one solid piece of metal from beginning to end. No, no other extras to it or anything like that, which I appreciate, you know, it makes it easier to clean for sure. And I feel like it's just more sanitary all along all around. Did we play that one once or twice? I don't remember. We're playing it again. So the score to beat is 480,000. We got up to what, like 200 and something thousand? Not terrible. It's cheaper than one of the sets you want. Yeah, honestly, I feel like, assuming it's actually a decent knife set, I feel like that's not all that bad pricing wise. Um, but that's assuming it's a decent knife set and not just cheap junk. I mean, most of the, most of the, the ninja stuff is pretty good. At least all the ninja stuff we own, we own is nice. But we only own appliances. We don't own any any ninja tools. So maybe maybe that would be different. Let's go. Oh, wait, what? It went back down into the, there? That's weird. I've never seen a game that... Uh, a pinball game that has that before. Come on, go to D. Go to D. Get in the D. That's not, that's not the D. Oh, God. We actually lived. Yes! Let's go. Is that good? I'm assuming it's good. We we put out all the lights. That's got to be worth something, right? The nice sets in Discord as well. Well, there's going to be all kinds of things for me to look at in Discord tonight, dude. Come on, go to the left. Go to the left. Oh, nope. Okay. I don't think I don't I don't think we could have hit that one. I think honestly we were just a uh, SOL. But that was only ball one. How yeah, dude. We actually stand a chance of maybe maybe beating the high score this time around. I mean, I wouldn't hold my breath, but maybe, maybe if we're lucky. Yeah, sound effects for days. Let's go. Sound effects are always a good thing, so... The app has informal videos? Wait, what? What do you mean the app has informal videos? <laughs> do you have a Wi-Fi enabled Instapot? That's a bit extra, but also really neat if, you, if it is. <laughs> It came with an app, but maybe. So you're not sure? <laughs> Could be Wi-Fi enabled. Might not be. Really not sure. The sharpener looks cool on it. On the knife set. I'll have to check it out after uh, after this. Oh, I spent some time. I didn't end up having time to actually work on, on our own custom bot or anything like that. But I did have a bit of time to read up on the API some. Um... For it, I, I don't remember talking about it on stream, so I'll talk about it now. Uh, there is no way that I can see to to use the official Twitch points, right? I could 
like add goals and things using the the chat API and like in like purchasables, but there's no way for me to award points to people. Um, so so it's not going to work for for our use case. So we are going to have to use our own custom point system, sadly, which you know kind of sucks, but it's not the end of the world, I suppose. Um, and I was looking at other things like like what you can and can't do with it. All of the things that that we were talking about wanting to do, you know, like the the trivia. Uh, example or, or suggestion that we got from silence there uh, the little mini games that I've had in mind and whatnot as well as all of the existing stuff like the gamble stuff and whatnot obviously should actually be relatively easy to implement so that's good I'm actually pretty pretty excited to to work on it one because I really like programming and two I think having our own bot would be would be nice um, and just having like more interesting games and stuff for for y'all to, to play with it I think will be will be fun. Uh, it's gonna come in pieces, basically. Like I'm gonna do the text stuff first, most likely, because text stuff is you know a lot easier. And then anything that requires graphics will will have to be a little bit separate, um, because yeah. <laughs> but I do want to have some graphical games and things that you guys can play. Plus, like it would be fun for the the random games that we that we pick to play every night and and things like that i think it would be fun to to actually have like a roulette wheel or or something appear on the screen even if it's just like uh those game show style wheels or whatever right that that spin around and whichever one it lands on even if it was just something like that i think it would be fun to to have that instead of just like a uh instead of just a uh uh me rolling it and then telling you guys what the result is or whatever plus like i mentioned before i want to give you guys the opportunity to kind of nudge the the random numbers uh in your in your favor however you want it to go add a rob function to people i mean <laughs> maybe um the only problem that i have with that is i mean there would have to be some way for people to stop themselves from being robbed. <laughs> Maybe like if they they put in a lurk command. Um really? We just got fucked out of it there. Uh maybe if they put in a lurk command, they can't be robbed. That way like if they're they're just in in chat, but or I'm sorry, in stream but not in in chat or whatever, then you know they don't just automatically lose their money whenever Nate tries to rob them. Um, <laughs> and there would have to be like some sort of limit put on it too, of course, because yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't want Nate just going around stealing everybody's points for himself. <laughs> and we all know it's going to be Nate that does it. Let's be honest. Like in Skyrim, you have a dice roll to see if they were robbed or not. Oh yeah. I mean, 100% it would be RNG based if we did, but they would have to have a way of stopping it too, you know? Oh, dude. I don't like this table. It's got a giant hole in the middle of it. You play thief constantly. <laughs> uh. But stealing from video game characters is one thing. Stealing from your fellow man? Like, come on. Come on. Well, that was a quick death. We'll try again. Basically supposed to be a challenge roll. Like I said, maybe. Maybe. Because, I mean, no one's going to willingly let you try and steal from them right so you can't have like the dual system where you accept or deny it because why why if someone's trying to steal points from you would you be like yeah accept let them try and steal from me or whatever <laughs> and then if you if you have it work any other way then it's basically just a, a dual system at that point so the only thing i can think of is like i said if they're lurking then then you you can't steal from them period if you're not, if they're not lurking, you can try to steal from them, but there has to be some sort of punishment if you lose the roll. Maybe if you, you lose the roll, you, you get a fine or something like that. We could do something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out something. We'll figure out something. I'm sure there's a way to make it fair and uh, still interesting. Wow, my reaction time was late on that. Never buy anything from the ninja site because that knife set is three forty nine on there. Holy hell! Yeah, we got our creamy like a hundred, like a hundred dollars off or something like that just by buying it at Walmart. Like <laughs> we didn't even do anything special. We just didn't buy it from the ninja site or anything like that. 
Oh, it's a bigger set. 17 pieces and comes with a frying pan. Okay. Okay. That was a shitty table. I don't like that one. You can make brownies in your Instant Pot. I think ours has mentioned like being able to make cakes and things in it, but we've never tried. I don't know how, how well it works. Doesn't count if it's not real money. I mean... <laughs> Fine, or a timeout where you can't use the command to make it seem like you're in jail. <laughs> both. Central I'm thinking Park. both, man. Make just about anything in an instant pot. Yeah, there's all kinds of, like, uh, add-ons and stuff for instant pots and things, too, that you can get to, like... Oh, yeah, you just said that. They have all kinds of accessories you can get, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ours also makes yogurt. I imagine the instant pot can probably make yogurt, too. I, uh... I don't know. This <laughs> is just interesting, but seems weird to me making yogurt in in a in a pressure cooker. But just don't overcook your wing. We did that one time, and Noodle will not let it or live it down, man. Like one time, and the wings were still good. It's not like they even ended up being bad or anything. They were just, you know, well done, falling off the bone. <laughs> oh, that was on me. That one was totally on me. It does, in fact, have a yogurt setting. Yeah, I figured it would. Or thought it did, at least. Because, uh, like I said, I know ours does. And I remember whenever I was reading about it, seeing seeing things about some Instant Pots being able to do yogurt. And it sounds like you probably have a nice one. So, yeah. Uh, go. I don't know where the ball is. Okay. <laughs> oh, there was another little mini thingy there. Another flipper. How do I get it back up there? Is it up there? No. It's on the rail. I want to get it back up there. I want to hit it with the mini flipper. Let's go. Let's go. No. <laughs> God, I suck, dude. Oh. Oh, here we go. There we go, dude. Wait. Did, I, did, did that actually do anything? I got it up there, but... They were good, but very, very fall-off-of-bone wings. Yes, yes, they were definitely fall-off-the-bone-style wings, dude. Which isn't how wings should honestly be, but... I mean, they still tasted good, so who cares, right? It's food. As long as it tastes good, it's all that matters to me, man. How do I unlock that extra ball? I just noticed there's an extra ball, like, hidden in a gate up there. See it? Right there? It's in the, like, top right hand of the, the table. Oh. Where's the ball going? What's it doing? Gopher! Gopher! I got a gopher. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> apparently we got it. I can't help but wonder if the last one we played, the Central Park one, was like a really old machine or something like that. It just seemed very basic compared to some of the others, and it, uh... And it, it had like that giant opening in the middle for, for you to die in. Is just flipping your flippers constantly a, a, a viable strat? I always feel like it's the wrong way to play, but at the same time, I don't know. <laughs> they have a new mixer set coming out, like the one we have with the whisk and immersion blender. You, you think we should get? <laughs> of course you think we should get it. It's a ninja appliance, like... Acceptable. You need it to taste good. Jeez, privilege much? Law, as long as it's edible and I'm hungry, it's good. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, if I'm starving, then yeah, if it's edible, I'll eat it, man. Trust me. <laughs> I've been there. But, uh, yes, most of the time, I prefer my food tastes good. If I'm the one making it. If someone else makes me food, then that's a whole nother story, you know? I'm not gonna... <laughs> free food's free food, dude. As long as it's edible, I'll probably eat it. Oh, we're dead. Hole in one? One hole in one extra ball count something? Coconut bonus 8 million? 
What? <laughs> we suddenly have 45 million points. Did anyone see what the uh, high score was for this one? We might actually have a chance. I'm guessing you haven't tried to use our current one in a while. What, the immersion blender? No. What what you do to our immersion blender? <laughs> Did it break? You dropped it? Of course you dropped it. <laughs> I'm assuming it's crooked as hell, though. That's what it sounds like. Noodle has a tendency of dropping everything. It's probably partially due to, you know, her, her blindness and whatnot, but yeah. She's broken, what is it, two uh, carafts for, for my espresso machines now. Uh, she broke our George Foreman grill. She broke... <laughs> I don't even remember what else, but she's definitely broken other... Oh, some plates and cups and bowls and things. Uh, it's okay, though. We love her anyways. 54 mil. Was that a high score? Probably not. I feel like the game would have told us if it was. Kind of have to hold it together. 443 million by Jeff. And here I was being excited about getting like 50 mil or 40 mil or whatever the hell we got. What the fuck, dude? Starving is a whole other level than I eat things I normally don't like or is questionably edible. <laughs> if I was legit like starving, then yeah, I would eat questionable things. But um, if 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 I'm, you know, quote unquote starving, then no, dude, I'm not going to eat something that looks like it, there's a, a possibility of me dying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I've definitely eaten food I didn't really like, though. I remember one time when uh, my cousin and I lived together, when we were uh, both young and, and poor, very poor, there was some, uh, he, he had a kid, but uh, him and his girlfriend at the time, they're married now, didn't live together and weren't on the best of terms. But since, you know, he had a baby there, uh, once upon a time, there was some leftover baby cereal at the house, like the like the, the rice-based cereal or whatever, right? The, like, little flake cereal that you, you mix with with uh, warm water or milk or whatever, and it's, like, the, the chunky baby food. Anybody who's a parent probably knows what I'm talking about, but I hardly know what I'm talking about. Anyways, point is, we, we were hungry enough that we mixed some of that up with water and tried to eat it, and it was disgusting. So, uh, we tried it again, but with tomato juice <laughs> in instead of water, and, uh, then added in some, like, garlic powder and salt and stuff like that, and, uh, I mean, I gotta tell you, man, it was pretty good, <laughs> all things considered. It wasn't, like, amazing. I've never gone back and eaten it again, but all things considered... It was pretty decent. <laughs> oh, yes, gruel. <laughs> delicious. Yeah, I don't know about delicious, but it was it was edible, and uh, we ate it. It uh, it helped fill the stomach. One of my favorite things at that point in time were uh, like turkeys, right? Because you know my my grandparents would buy things on on clearance around the holiday season and whatnot so they would just have like whole turkeys sitting in their their freezers like way too many of them for for long periods of time so uh every once in a while they would just give us a whole turkey or a whole ham or something like that and i mean a whole turkey will will feed someone for you know a couple of days if that's all the food you got so that was that was pretty dope <laughs> definitely enjoyed some some turkey man survival yeah <laughs> gotta do what you gotta do man one way or another ah fuck me wait did i miss something somewhere oh period has made me eat weird so you've eaten a cookie off of the sidewalk <laughs> Tastes like rocks and chocolate, but I hate the whole damn thing. <laughs> oh, real. God damn, dude. That's, uh, that's a thing. Yep. 
you were you're craving sweets so bad. I I can imagine. Yeah, if you if you were eating sidewalk cookies, you would have to be pretty Victory. freaking hungry, man. Oh god, that's fantastic. Yeah, I can honestly say I've never I've never done that. Whole turkey can last a minute, and so much junk you can make from it for like two or three bucks, two two to five bucks. Yeah, we didn't have two to five dollars. <laughs> uh, but yes, no, it, it really is like whenever they're really cheap for the holidays and whatnot. If you if you need cheap protein in your house, it honestly is like a good idea, something to keep around, because yeah, it's a it's a good source of protein. Protein, uh, you can make you know turkey sandwiches out of it, turkey turkey salad. Um, barbecue turkey mix it with rice instead of you know chicken basically anywhere you would put chicken you can put it like it really is it really is like a, a great cheap source of protein especially you know right after the the holiday rushes and things whenever they all go down in price ah damn we had that one it can be great for you don't get periods like girls do on their periods it sucks yep I, uh, <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. I do not envy women on their periods, man. I don't envy women very often, period, to be honest. <laughs> like, but, you know. Oh, and soups? Oh, bruh. You can put, like, turkey and soup and stuff like that. Instead, again, instead of chicken. I mean, I do it with chicken, too. But, like, uh, I grew up on, on vegetable soup with chicken, turkey, or beef or whatever in it. And uh, I need to make some vegetable soup. I love my family's vegetable soup. It is one of the greatest things in the world. IMO. It's just so freaking good, man. I, I mean, it's like most people's vegetable soups, but we put, I feel like, way more tomato juice in it than, than most people do. Um, well, most people probably put, like, actual tomatoes or whatever. We use tomato juice. Anyways, it's just really good. I like it. French onion soup now. Noodle and I tried to make some homemade French onion soup, and uh, yeah, it wasn't for me, man. The uh, the the onions that we we you know sweated off and put in it just made it way too sweet. As most people probably know by now, I'm not a huge fan of mixing sweets and uh, sweet and savory flavors unless it's teriyaki. Teriyaki is good, and that's a sweet savory flavor. But other than that, I'm just not that into it. It wasn't completely homemade. It did have one can of soup in it. I mean, it was still, you know, we sweated our own onions and cooked it all down and did all the, did all that. It was, it was 60% homemade. <laughs> Maybe not completely homemade, but it was still homemade. It was good though, like other than other than how sweet it was, it, it did come out really well. It's just yeah. Ah uh, frick. <laughs> Making me hungry. Bro, I'm kinda hungry too. We had uh some leftover cheese sticks in the fridge. So that's that's all I ate <laughs> when I got home because I didn't have much time after I picked Noodle up to, to eat anything. So I didn't want to like cook anything. So I just took the like three leftover cheese sticks that I had or four leftover cheese sticks that I had and threw those in the microwave real quick. After the stream's over, I'm definitely gonna have to find something else to eat. I don't know what, but we'll figure something out. So why you want to grow a potato? Wait, what? Why do you want to grow a potato? Cause you're hungry? <laughs> I mean, potatoes are pretty killer, dude. Just in general. You know, I've never actually had a homegrown potato. I feel like they would be pretty easy to grow, but... And we grew all kinds of vegetables growing up. We had we had a couple fields when I was uh, when I was younger of vegetables and things that we grew, but never grew potatoes. We grew all kinds of peppers, hot peppers, not hot peppers. I guess that's basically every kind of pepper there. Um... <laughs> You know, cucumbers, watermelons, pumpkins, um, tomatoes of, of all different varieties, corn, uh, so some salad stuff. Uh, we didn't actually grow the salad stuff at my aunt's house. We we grew some some salad uh, lettuce. There you go. That's what it's called. Uh, some cabbage. Grew some cabbage before. 
I think I think we might have grown cauliflower. Was it was it cauliflower? I don't remember. All kinds of vegetables though. Ooh. There's a box you can grow that has up to a hundred potatoes in it. Wait, does aw oh, damn dude, we did. Does the, like, do you have to plant them outside or do you grow them in the box? How does that work? Wait, did we actually get a high score? No. There's no way, dude. I feel like we did so bad. How did we get a high score on that one? <laughs> that, that just feels wrong. I don't, I don't know, man. We've earned cre one credit. Would you like to spend one credit to continue with this table? Uh, sure. Why not? Does that mean we get to continue with the score we have? No. We just, we start over. What's the point then? We have unlimited credits. If we don't get to continue with the score we currently have. I get how, like in the arcade, that would be a cool mechanic, but we're not in the arcade, so who cares? Hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. I appreciate you. I completely missed the fact that we had the small flippers up there we could have used. Ah, damn. Why you always gotta go over there? Oh, box thing you can build and you grow the potatoes in it. I got you. Okay, okay. Wait, what? What happened there? Why didn't my ball go out? That was stupid. That just cost me a ball for nothing. Also, just shove a potato in dirt. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's how I planned on growing them or thought about growing them at least. If I ever do, I'm just going to take some old potatoes and, and throw it in the ground. Because <laughs> it literally is the, the, the seed, the bulb of the plant. I have my little hydroponic system, and it can grow some vegetables. But uh, the only vegetables it can grow are, unless they've, they've updated it recently, are peppers. Which, don't get me wrong, I like peppers. Noodle, not so much. But I like peppers. Tomatoes, and then uh, salad greens. Also grows a bunch of herbs, but I mean, I do plan on uh, getting some of that eventually. Once once we get somewhere to actually set up my my hydroponic systems that that I have. Um, so right now I've just been growing herbs in them, but that's because we only have one set up and it's just kind of sitting off in the side of the room. It's not really even set up or anything like that. It's just there for the time being. Best part is it's not that big. It's like the size of two crates stacked, just slightly wider. Okay. I mean, potatoes are supposed to be like a, a hardy, relatively easy to grow thing, I feel like. I'm not a potato farmer, so uh, I mean, I could be completely wrong, but. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess that time we only got 468,000. The time before that, we got like two mil or whatever. So I guess we did do pretty well the first time. Whatever. All right, uh, exit. I think we still have one more table left. I w Victory! Pretty sure. Big shot. No, that was that was it. That was all Black of them. Hole. Well, let's see. We still got. What time is it? It's one fourteen. We'll play two more Jeez. rounds of. I think it was Black Central Hole was Park. the one that we really Jeez. liked or that I really liked. Pretty sure it was that one. Let's try some more of that one, man. Not too much more, because honestly, there's a decent chance, depending how long a round of the the foot the 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 football <laughs> takes. Couldn't say that freaking word. Depending how long a uh, a match of that takes, we may end up playing like another sports ball game or something tonight, just to get it out of the way. Might as well get them all out of the way in one in one go. Oh shit, small flippers. There's small flippers here. We gotta remember that. Oh, too fast. I can't keep up. I do not have <laughs> the reaction time for that. Plus I'm playing through OBS. You gotta gotta cut me some slack here, man. That's Damn, I might have actually been able to hit that. Oh, I've mentioned it a couple times in the other streams, but for anyone who hasn't, 
We are running a poll on the next game that we're going to complete. We're going to start playing that game this coming Wednesday. Uh, there's still like two, two and a half ga games, days left for people to vote on that. So you ha if you haven't already, go ahead and follow the link tree link that pops up in chat every once in a while. And at the bottom, there is a current poll link. Uh, follow that and feel free to vote on whatever game you would like to see me play to completion on stream. They're all PlayStation games of one way or another. Most of them are PS2 because, you know, that's kind of the focus of the the channel at the moment for the most part at least. Um, but there are a couple like PS3, 4, and even uh, a PS1 game on there. You can vote on up to three games too in case, uh, in case you didn't know. There are 21 games in the list, so I want to make sure everyone had a chance to pick pick a couple games that they like instead of just one. Plus, uh, doing it that way, I feel like there's a better chance that, you know, we won't just have 15 games all ending up with one vote each. Because uh, that would end up being just a complete RNG fest at that point. Anyways, <laughs> so what's the point of asking everyone if we just play something random? You've been playing the soccer ball foot? I haven't played any soccer ball foot yet, but one of these days. Guess what I'm playing? Uh, I mean, I know that you were playing Stray. Have you finished Stray yet, or are you playing something else? NCAA 2K14? Oh, uh, fuck you, dude. No. <laughs> were they really making the NCAA games clear up till 2014? I feel like they stopped making those forever ago. I've heard that they're going to start making them again, but... Switching back and forth between that and another one. I started playing Stray last night. Stray is uh, Stray is actually a lot of fun. Highly suggest it to anyone that has a PlayStation out there. It is on the PlayStation, or it's included with PlayStation Plus. So if you have PlayStation Plus, you don't even have to pay anything for it. It's a relatively short experience. I think like four to five hours. And uh, yeah, dude, a lot of fun. You should play it. Everyone should play it. You play a cat for goodness sakes. Like, come on, it's a cat, dude guess the other one i mean skyrim <laughs> uh rune factory fire emblem uh nope nope <laughs> and nope uh odin sphere you went back and started playing odin sphere again ding i caught it <laughs> i'm actually surprised i didn't think of that a little bit earlier are you playing the uh, the PS4 one or the, the PS2, the original? Is this the cat game? Yes. Stray is the cat game. And, uh, I mean, I've only played, like, a half hour or so of it so far. Because um, I didn't get a chance to play it until after D&D last night. Uh, and then I had to go to bed because I work for the next four days. But anyways, uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Again, it's included with PlayStation Plus. So if you have a PlayStation 4 or 5 and you have PlayStation Plus, dude, try it out. It is a ton of fun. The PS2 Gauntlet brought us some PT PTSD. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't honestly blame you. If I had the, the choice between... Now that I know, if I had the choice between the PS2 version or the PS4 version, I would 100% go with the PS4 version as well. I mean, plus the PS4 version has the, the classic edition built in. So, I mean, if you wanted to, you could play the PS2 version just with up updated graphics anyways. You forgot to tell me? What'd you forget to tell me? Oh, thank God. We're safe. Oh, one other thing I need to bring up while I'm thinking about it. It was 15 bucks on summer sale for the PS4. That sucks that I missed it. Or wait, did the summer sale end? I thought the summer sale was still going on. Damn, we're dead. What time is it? Uh, we'll play one more round. One more round. Check it. I will. But honestly, I really like having physical games for, for consoles. So I'll probably end up just getting the physical copy, to be honest. But uh, I'll double check. Because, like, if the physical copy is, like, 100 bucks or something, then, yeah, no, you know, I'll just, I'll just get the digital and deal with it. But... If the physical copy is a reasonable price, then yeah, I would rather just get that one. Your boy needs a drink real quick. I'm 
I'm just surprised I didn't see it because I was looking through the uh, the summer sale stuff just yesterday on the PS5. I, I, I mean, I guess I didn't go through like all of the games or anything. So it could have just been like farther down the list and I missed it. But uh, that's that's when I noticed that Stray was was free for me to download on PlayStation Plus because it, you know, popped up on the, the PlayStation Store and was like included with your PlayStation Plus subscription. I'm like, dude, fuck yeah, let's go. <laughs> I think GameStop has it for 30. That's not too bad. I'll check uh, some other sources that I have though, because a lot of times you can get games cheaper than what you can from GameStop if you uh, know where to look. Sites like uh, price charting, eBay, uh, some local game shops that I know that, that sell things for reasonable prices and usually under the price of GameStop. Although with that said, um, I feel like Odin Sphere is one of those games that's a little more niche, so less likely to find at, like, just a local game store or something like that. Although, with that said, <laughs> one of the local game stores, semi-local game stores that I know of, sells, uh, imported games and stuff like that, too. They have, uh, contacts in Japan from when they spent some time over there in the past. Um, so they actually get games imported for them on the, on the cheap, basically, from Japan. And then, uh, he sells them in his, in his shop. He even has like some some Japanese Famicoms and uh, other consoles that I can't <laughs> think of at the moment. I mean, the Famicom, Super Famicom, Turbo, Turbo Graphics 16 was that the the name of it in Japan? I don't remember. I don't remember if that was the Japanese name or if that was the the American name for the console. But anyways, point is, he has some uh, he has some some more niche stuff at that game shop. So I have to take a look around and see. Price charting is also just a really good, for anyone who doesn't know, price charting is just a really good site to, to check for game prices. So if you want to make sure you're not getting ripped off by someone. Um, because it, it takes the, the average price that a game sells for and tracks it. Or it keeps all the prices that games sell for and, and, and tracks it and then averages it out for you so that you can... Uh, so that you know what a game is actually worth, you know? So if somebody's trying to sell you a game for like 50 bucks, you could look it up on price charting and be like, no, actually, you see that game, complete in box in good condition, is only worth 20. Um, so I think I'll just pass on that deal, you know? <laughs> or whatever. A lot, of, uh, a lot of game shops also use price charting to set their own prices for, for the store. So if you want an idea of what a game is going to cost before you go into a, a like local game shop or whatever, um, that's a decent place to, to look to have an idea of what you're going to be spending for what you're looking for. Why are talkies so good but hurt so bad? I don't like talkies, man. It's the lime. I'm just not a huge lime person, which is weird because of how much I love citrus. Like I love citrus fruits normally. I literally eat lemons on my lunch break every once in a while. <laughs> just just peel it like an orange and eat it. But something about lime, I'm just not a huge fan of. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Noodle got some new mugs that she was super excited about. She's like, you're going to be mad at me, but I have something else to show you that I bought today. <laughs> and then pulled out like four mugs. The only reason it's a problem is because we have way too many mugs in the house it is, as it is. Like our our cabinets are full, and ninety percent of them are just are just cups <laughs> of different of different sizes and shapes. <laughs> like <laughs> it's a problem. Noodle has a problem, but oh, you figured out which ones you're gonna get rid of. I'm proud of you. Did the game freeze up? I think the game froze up. Uh Oh, there's different camera views. I didn't know that. Huh. Well, <laughs> uh the game died, so <laughs> either way, we were done with it. So I guess that's I guess that's fine. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're going to head on over to our break screen. Get rid of that pre-roll ad. Give everyone a chance to stretch and whatnot, as well as switch the game over to ESPN NFL 2K something. I don't remember which one. Whichever one I have sitting out on top over there. So we'll be right back in just a few minutes, guys. 
probably just gonna get destroyed now. I feel like the charge shot, it takes longer to do damage. 